Welcome back to our channel. We hope you'll find valuable content here. If you enjoy our channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Let's dive in. Closed Loop Sales Imagine walking into an ice cream parlor on a hot summer day. The sweet aroma of freshly made waffle cones fills the air, and the colorful array of ice cream flavors beckons you. You decide to try a new flavor today, perhaps a rich dark chocolate with chunks of brownie. As the creamy texture and decadent flavor melt in your mouth, you're instantly hooked. Before you know it, you find yourself returning to the same ice cream parlor next week, craving that same delightful experience. This repeated act of returning and buying is the essence of closed-loop sales. Now, think of this repeated buying process as forming a chain. Each time you return and make a purchase, you're adding a link to this chain. The objective for any business is to make this chain as lengthy and robust as possible. A long chain signifies loyal customers who love the product or service and keep coming back for more. It's a testament to the business's ability to meet and exceed customer expectations consistently. Let's delve deeper into the intricacies of this process by understanding the customer's journey using the analogy of buying a new pair of shoes. You've been jogging every morning, and lately, you've noticed that your old pair of running shoes are worn out. This realization marks the beginning of your journey, the awareness stage. As days go by, you start exploring different shoe brands, checking out reviews online, visiting a few stores, and even asking friends for recommendations. This is the consideration phase, where you're actively seeking the best option to fulfill your need. One fine day, after much research and contemplation, you walk into a store, try on a pair that feels just right, and decide to buy them. This decision point is aptly named the decision stage. Once you start using the shoes, based on the comfort and durability, you might contemplate sticking to the same brand in the future or even recommending it to a friend. This post-purchase reflection is the post-purchase phase. Now, imagine this journey as a road trip. The smoother the road, the more enjoyable the trip. Similarly, businesses aim to pave this journey for their customers, ensuring it's free from bumps or obstacles. They invest in creating a user-friendly website, ensuring you can easily find what you're looking for. They maintain an active presence on social media, keeping you updated about new arrivals, customer reviews, and ongoing sales. And if they have a brick-and-mortar store, they focus on creating a welcoming ambience, ensuring the store layout is intuitive, and training their staff to be knowledgeable and helpful. All these efforts are directed towards one goal, to ensure you, the customer, have a seamless and delightful experience. Because a happy customer journey, from awareness to post-purchase, is the key to building that long chain of closed-loop sales. Creating a loyalty program Imagine you're wandering through a bustling city, and you stumble upon a quaint coffee shop tucked away in a cozy corner. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee lures you in, and you decide to give it a try. The barista, with a warm smile, hands you a small card, a loyalty card, she explains, that will earn you points with every purchase. Once you accumulate enough points, you can redeem them for a free drink or a delightful pastry. Intrigued and enticed by the prospect of earning rewards, you find yourself visiting the coffee shop more often, gradually becoming a regular. This is the magic of a well-crafted loyalty program. A loyalty program is like a gentle, invisible thread that connects customers to a business. It's a subtle reminder that says, we value you and nudges customers to return. It's not just about accumulating points but building a relationship, a bond that is nurtured with every interaction, every purchase. Imagine the loyalty program as a garden. The seeds sown are the points and rewards offered to the customers. But for these seeds to sprout and flourish, they need to be nurtured with consistent engagement and personalized communication. The blooming flowers are the customers who, feeling valued and appreciated, keep coming back thus ensuring the garden, the loyalty program, thrives and blossoms. In the context of our coffee shop example, the loyalty card is the seed. With every purchase, points are added, gradually nurturing the seed to sprout. The shop might send you personalized offers, 
perhaps a special discount on your birthday, or an exclusive preview of a new pastry they're introducing. These gestures are the sunlight and water, helping the relationship to blossom. And when you redeem your points, enjoying a free coffee or a treat, you experience the blooming of the flower, feeling appreciated and valued. The beauty of a loyalty program lies in its ability to track customer behavior subtly. By understanding your purchasing patterns, preferences, and frequency, the business can tailor offers and communications that resonate with you. It's a harmonious exchange where you feel acknowledged and the business, in turn, enjoys your continued patronage. In essence, a loyalty program is a meticulous blend of rewards, recognition, and relationship. It's a journey where customers and businesses walk hand in hand, creating stories that are enriched with mutual appreciation and understanding. Ensuring ease of repeat purchases. Picture this, you've just finished reading an enthralling book from an online retailer. The story was gripping, the characters memorable, and now you're eager to dive into the sequel. You quickly log onto the retailer's website, and with just a few clicks, the next book is on its way to your doorstep. The ease of this process, the simplicity of reordering, makes you more inclined to shop from the same retailer again. This scenario underscores the importance of making it easy for customers to buy again. Think of it as a dance. The first purchase is the initial step, the introduction to the rhythm. But for the dance to continue, for it to flow seamlessly, the subsequent steps must be effortless. The ease of repeat purchases is like ensuring that the dance continues without any missteps. One of the primary ways businesses ensure this dance goes on is by simplifying the buying process. Imagine you're at a checkout counter, and you have a plethora of payment options to choose from credit card, digital wallets, or even cash on delivery. This flexibility ensures that you can choose a method that's most convenient for you, making the payment process smooth. But what if you change your mind about a purchase? Or what if the product doesn't meet your expectations? A hassle-free return and exchange policy come to the rescue. It's like a safety net, assuring you that if things don't go as planned, there's a way to set them right. And then there's the cornerstone of any successful business stellar customer service. It's the bridge that connects businesses to their customers, ensuring clear communication and responsive support. Whether it's a query about a product, a concern about delivery, or feedback, a dedicated customer service team ensures that customers are heard, understood, and assisted. Building trust is intrinsic to ensuring ease of repeat purchases. Transparent policies, reliable product quality, and consistent service are the pillars that uphold this trust. When customers trust a business, they are more likely to return, to continue the dance. For instance, consider an online retailer. They might offer features like one-click reordering, saving your payment details for faster checkout, and providing 24-7 customer support. These features, while seemingly simple, play a pivotal role in ensuring that customers return, making the process of buying not just easy but delightful. Embracing subscription services. Imagine waking up every morning to find your favorite magazine waiting for you at your doorstep. Without any effort on your part, the latest issue is delivered to you, month after month. This convenience, this assurance of receiving something you love regularly, is the allure of subscription services. Subscription services have woven their way into the fabric of modern commerce, offering a blend of convenience and consistency. At its core, a subscription service is a promise, a promise of regularity, of delivering a product or service to customers at fixed intervals, be it weekly, monthly, or annually. Let's delve into the world of subscriptions by visualizing it as a river. This river flows consistently, its waters representing the steady stream of products or services. On one bank of the river stands the business, releasing the waters at regular intervals. On the opposite bank stand the customers, eagerly awaiting the river's flow, knowing that it will quench their needs regularly. One of the most evident benefits of this river of subscription is the consistent revenue stream it provides to businesses. It's predictable, allowing businesses to plan and strategize better. For customers, this river offers the convenience of not having to reorder or reselect. 
It's a set and forget model, where once you've subscribed, the product or service reaches you without any further action required. Moreover, it allows customers to anticipate their expenditure, making budgeting easier. The river of subscription services branches out into various streams, each representing a different type of subscription. Some streams carry products, like monthly beauty boxes filled with curated cosmetics or quarterly wine deliveries introducing subscribers to new and exotic flavors. Other streams flow with services, like streaming platforms offering a plethora of movies and shows or gym memberships ensuring health and fitness. An integral aspect of subscription services is the potential to build and strengthen customer loyalty. The regularity of the service, combined with exclusive offers or content for subscribers, fosters a sense of belonging. It's like being part of an exclusive club, where members are treated with special care and attention. For instance, consider a magazine subscription. Beyond the physical delivery of monthly issues, subscribers might get access to exclusive online content, early bird invitations to events, or special discounts. These added perks enhance the value of the subscription, making it more than just a transaction. It becomes an experience, a journey that both the business and the customer embark on together. Mastering Upselling and Cross-Selling Picture yourself in a bustling electronics store, browsing through the latest laptops. As you're admiring a particular model, a friendly salesperson approaches and begins to explain the benefits of a slightly higher spec model highlighting its faster processor and better display. This gentle nudge towards a more premium product is a classic example of upselling. Now, imagine you've decided on a camera from the same store. As you're about to check out, the salesperson suggests a tripod, explaining how it can enhance your photography experience. This recommendation of a complementary product is what we call cross-selling. Both upselling and cross-selling are art forms in the world of sales, aiming to enhance the customer's shopping experience while boosting the business's revenue. Let's dive deeper into these concepts, visualizing them as two paths in a vast sales forest. The path of upselling wins through the forest, leading customers to better, often more premium versions of what they initially set out to buy. It's like a gentle uphill climb, where with each step, the product gets a bit more advanced, a tad more luxurious. The key to this path is understanding the customer's needs and desires, ensuring that the upsell adds genuine value to their purchase. Parallel to the upselling path runs the path of cross-selling. This path introduces travelers to products or services that complement their initial choice. It's like walking through a forest and discovering beautiful side trails that enhance the overall journey. The essence of cross-selling lies in timely recommendations, ensuring that the suggested product aligns with the customer's needs and enhances their overall experience. For instance, consider a cozy coffee shop on a chilly morning. As you order your regular coffee, the barista might suggest trying a larger size for just a little extra, an upsell. Or, they might recommend a freshly baked pastry to go with your coffee, a cross-sell. Both these suggestions aim to enhance your coffee experience while increasing the shop's sales. The dance of upselling and cross-selling is a delicate balance of understanding customer needs, offering genuine value, and making timely recommendations. When done right, it not only boosts sales but also fosters customer loyalty, as customers appreciate the tailored suggestions that enhance their buying experience. Chain of Consumption in Action the sun peeks through the curtains, casting a warm glow on your room. As you stretch and yawn, the thought of a steaming cup of coffee brings a smile to your face. You remember the coffee shop around the corner, where every purchase earns you points. Those points, once accumulated, can be exchanged for a free drink, a delicious pastry, or even some branded merchandise. This coffee shop's loyalty program is a perfect example of the chain of consumption in action. But what exactly is this chain, and how does it lead to closed-loop sales? Imagine a beautiful necklace, each link representing a purchase or interaction with a business. The goal for any business is to add as many links as possible, creating a long, unbroken chain. This chain signifies a customer's continued engagement and loyalty. 
Let's traverse through the marketplace and witness this chain of consumption in various scenarios. In a bustling city center, a chic clothing store offers a unique subscription service. Subscribers receive a box of new clothes every month, each piece carefully curated based on their style preferences. This not only ensures a regular revenue stream for the store but also offers customers the thrill of unboxing new fashion finds regularly. Meanwhile, in the digital realm, a software company cleverly offers a free trial of their latest product. Users get a taste of the software's capabilities, and as the trial period nears its end, they're presented with an attractive subscription offer. This transition from trial to subscription is another link in the chain, ensuring the user remains engaged and the company enjoys consistent revenue. Back in the physical world, a car dealership implements a loyalty program. Customers earn points for every service or part purchase. Over time, these points can be redeemed for discounts on future services or even towards the purchase of a new vehicle. It's a win-win, with customers feeling valued and the dealership ensuring repeat business. At the heart of these examples lies the ultimate goal, to create a loyal customer base and enhance the overall customer experience. Whether it's through loyalty programs, subscriptions, or tailored offers, the chain of consumption aims to keep customers engaged, satisfied, and coming back for more. Concluding the journey, the mastery of closed-loop sales. As we draw the curtains on our exploration of closed-loop sales, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've undertaken. At the heart of closed-loop sales lies a simple yet profound concept, the art of selling to a customer and ensuring they return for more. It's akin to the joy of discovering a new flavor at an ice cream parlor and being so enamored that you return time and again. This repeated act of returning and buying forms the chain of consumption, a testament to a business's ability to consistently meet and exceed customer expectations. Throughout our journey, we delve deep into various strategies that businesses employ to create this chain. Understanding the customer's journey, much like the process of buying a new pair of shoes, every customer embarks on a journey with a business. From the initial awareness of a need to the final purchase and post-purchase reflections, businesses aim to make this journey as smooth and delightful as possible. Building loyalty through programs, loyalty programs are the invisible threads that bind customers to businesses. Through points, rewards, and personalized offers, businesses nurture a bond with their customers, ensuring they feel valued and appreciated. Ensuring ease of repeat purchases, the dance of sales continues when businesses simplify the buying process. From offering multiple payment options to ensuring hassle-free returns and providing stellar customer service, the goal is to make every purchase a breeze. Embracing subscription services, in the modern commerce landscape, subscription services have emerged as a win-win for both businesses and customers. They promise regularity and convenience, ensuring a steady flow of products or services. Mastering upselling and cross-selling, these are the subtle arts of enhancing a customer's purchase. Whether it's nudging them towards a premium product or suggesting complementary items, the aim is to add value to the shopping experience. Chain of consumption in action, through real-world examples like coffee shops, clothing stores, software companies, and car dealerships, we witness the chain of consumption come alive showcasing the myriad ways businesses engage and retain customers. In essence, the ultimate objective of closed-loop sales is threefold, to create loyal customers, enhance the overall customer experience, and boost business revenue. It's a harmonious dance where businesses and customers move in tandem, each step choreographed to ensure mutual satisfaction and success.